Here's a common problem with British sports cars. The lift the dot fasteners get damaged and when you try to snap them on, they don't snap over the post. They may sit there, but they're just gonna pop right off like that. Whereas a correct one will lift off and snap back down. And the problem is this inner wire here that is inside gets mangled up over the years and you really can't straighten that wire out. I've tried and I've improved maybe one out of ten fasteners that way, but I just decided to go ahead and try to replace these. Since the holes are already cut in the material, it shouldn't be too difficult to do. So this is the one that we're going to do. I marked it. You can see it's pretty damaged on this uh, outside part. Now, to you've got to bend these four tabs back on the back side. I'm starting with a flat blade exacto just to kind of start the <clears throat> bend. So I can get in there and grab a hold of it. And then I'll take a screwdriver and kind of get it further up. And if needed, I'll use some pliers and straighten it the final amount. That should be it. Now, <clears throat> note where the words lift the dot are, because on the new one, you're going to have that. To line up. See, there's a lift the dot word right there. And then the backing plate has the word dot on it right here. So they need to match up. You need to have them in the right direction. Let's pop this off. Pull this out. Orient the lift the dot correctly. Same with that word dot. And then we need to bend these tabs back down. And for good measure, you can take a rubber or a plastic hammer, just lightly finish the flattening out <clears throat> process. So there you have a new lift the dot. So I replaced four of the eight lift the dot fasteners. That didn't take nearly as long as I thought it might take. So here's a new one. And it snaps right over. And of course the old ones still work too. So that worked like a charm.